Uh, two cops involved in the George Floyd killing are rejecting plea deals that would have given them three year sentences. Tutau and Jay, Exaler, Jay Alexander Kung are charged with aiding and abetting second degree murder and second degree manslaughter in Floyd's death. Their turning down the deal sets the stage for trial in October. They, along with Thomas Lane, were with Derek Chauvin as he pinned down Floyd's neck pulling down George Floyd by his neck with his knee, therefore killing him. Another case that uh, has had some holes in it, but with this case, we at least could see exactly what happened. Um, there wasn't a lot of um, um, getting out of what happened because we saw exactly what happened to George Floyd. Breonna Taylor, for example, we couldn't really see it the way that we saw it here. Um, and of course, this is the case. We just have to wait and see how it, how it all turns out. Um, you know, but of course the families don't get to get George Floyd back. Yeah, listen, um, I don't know who was advising them to, to not take the plea because mm -hmm. I thought they got off pretty easy Agreed. getting three years. And yeah. so now they want to take it to trial. I mean, listen, I do. I think they deserve longer. Yes, but uh, they were they should have probably taken the plea because mm -hmm. I don't see this going in a better way for them in October. I mean, I think people are still, uh, you know, sometimes things die down and feelings die down, but this case is still one of the things that really get people talking and really get that emotional feeling going. And so uh, we'll see what happens, but I would have just kept to the plea if I were yeah. there. I would have definitely done that too. And you think about like the time already served, right? So how much time do they actually have left, right? And then you think about Lang, who only is going to get two and a half years. He is the one officer that was saying, should I turn him over on his side? Yeah. Like, right, so they try to give him a little leeway or give him a, a, a break, so to speak, on that. But I would have definitely taken the plea if I was those you guys. You know, I've never, since uh, probably OJ, to be honest with you, I've never watched a case in every single day of it yeah. and kept mm -hmm. up with it. I've never done that the way that I did with George Floyd, honestly. And we were on, no, on Fox News and came out? Absolutely. Yeah. We were literally watching every single day. I've never done so much investigative reporting for um, a court case before as the way that we did for George Floyd. And the way that they broke that down and his lawyers, the way that they, um, all of the emotions that all of the, um, the witnesses gave, I'm with you, Mimi. Yeah. I would have taken it because now you're yeah. going back to trial. You're going to open up the wound, but more importantly, these people are going to yet come again and speak against how you killed mm -hmm. this man in broad daylight, and it's not going to be good for them. It's not going to so. be good. And and then just sparing the family, mm. the the uh, rehashment of the we whole thing, it. right? Yeah. It's just going to yes. be so much. I, I just, I don't know. I don't think who, whoever advised them that this was a good idea, they uh, should probably fire them. Agree. Mm -hmm.